Welcome back to Sports Week College Football Preview Show. Of course, we talked about the Cougars moments ago. Now it's a huge turn. They returned 13 starters from a year ago, six on offense. Let's bring in Jeremiah Jensen once again. Something's got to change here, Jeremiah, because last year their offense is not very good at all. Yeah, Rod, in fact, uh, it was bad. And that's why Kyle Whittingham brought in Dennis Erickson to help jumpstart it, especially the pass game. It won't matter if the Utes don't have consistency at quarterback, something that's been missing for four years. I hope this is our time to shine, time to surprise people. The focus and the edge on the team kind of seems Kind of seems like we're taking that underdog mentality and really just getting to work, not talking too much. Up 7 nothing. Pressure. Ball came loose there. The offense disappointed in 2012. Kyle Whittingham brought in some help to change that. We didn't throw the ball well enough. we got to be much more productive, much more consistent, much more prolific in the throw game. It's one of the main reasons we brought Dennis Erickson in is to, to jumpstart that. The addition of Erickson won't matter if the Utes can't get better play from the quarterback position. It's been since Brian Johnson in 08 that we've started and finished the season with the same quarterback. and that, you know, We've got no continuity, no consistency there, and so that's got to change. The Utes are confident sophomore Travis Wilson can provide that change. He's got to play like a seasoned vet from day one. Overall, his playmaking ability, I mean, when you look at him and watch how athletic he is for his size, it's, you know, ridiculous, you know, coming out of high school, national recruit or whatever, but um, just seeing that now applied with his work ethic and his vocal leadership is what's really improved the most. And you can, that really helps with his confidence, I think, uh, which is huge. Uh, he's worked his tail off since we got him in January of 2012 as a 200 pound true freshman right out of high school, early graduator. He's now 6'6 six, six and three quarters, 245, and really has worked his, his uh, himself into a, a great position physically and mentally, where he has complete command of the offense. And uh, he's, you know, physical, physical wise, he's just a whole different person than he was a year and a half ago. Wilson should get plenty of help from the offensive line, which returns three starters, including potential star Jeremiah Patasi. There's depth at running back with Kelvin York, Bubba Poole, Lucky Radley, and Carl Williams all battling for carries. Wilson also also has plenty of weapons to throw the ball to. It is time for a Utah touchdown. In this ball game, the pocket stays clean over the top. Anderson. Kenneth Scott and Drez Anderson return a receiver. And Jake Murphy and Wesley Tonga could be one of the best tight end duos in school history. We're going to make more explosive plays this year as an offense. We really liked that last year. We didn't make a lot of big plays, you know, and especially in crucial situations. We didn't really... You know, we didn't help our defense out that much last year. We didn't do what we were capable of doing. And um, I think Dennis Erickson and Coach Johnson have just kind of combined for this ultimate, you know, confidence boost for the offense. I don't really know how to say it, but I'm a kind of, we kind of feel like we have an identity finally. The Utes finished 109th in total offense last season in the country. Expect them to be better than that. And their performance Thursday may give us a clue just how much better they will be, guys. Yeah, JJ, they have to be. All right, Mike Grant, Robert Jackson, they provide uh, the Ute cast on KSL.com every week and the Ute Crimson Corner on KSL.com every day. Guys, all right, they brought in Darius Erickson and Travis Wilson now has seven games under his belt. What have you noticed in the limited time you've been able to watch these guys in practice? Has it helped? I think it has. Travis Wilson looks much more confident than he did last year. He's leading the offense. They've virtually given him the keys. They've said, Travis, you are a captain of this team now. He's one of the first, he's the first sophomore to be named a captain since Alex Smith in 2004. He's playing with a lot more confidence right now. And, and then Robert, before the fall camp started, we were wondering what kind of a leash that they would have on Travis Wilson. Are they going to yank him? Are they going to ride him all the way through? Has that changed any bit? I mean, you've got more confidence that they're going to stick with this guy through thick and thin? No, Travis Wilson will be your starting quarterback for the entire 2013 season. Uh, the game experience that he had last season is invaluable. Utah has not had a starting quarterback start and finish a season since 2008. Mm -hmm. You talk about four seasons of mediocre football, four seasons where your quarterback was mediocre. Their leading receiver last year had 365 yards. Your leading receiver. you got to get more production from the quarterbacks. And you ask any quarterback their safety net, 
the guy that really makes him feel comfortable is a big, strong tight end that can catch and it's fast. He got a couple of them, Murphy and Tonga. Jake Murphy's a special guy. I think he's an NFL guy. Wesley Tonga might too, and there might be in the NFL too. They are two special guys, guys who catch touchdowns, guys who can block. They've they've gotten better, and Dennis Erickson loves to use the tight end in his offense. But you have to find a way to get them six to seven targets, not for the season, but for the game. You have to find a way to get them the ball, especially in the red zone. Three seconds each. A little better, a lot better, or a whole heck of a lot better offensively? A heck of a lot better. A heck of a lot better based off the offensive Everybody's line. Everybody's so optimistic before the first game. Have All right, to, that's the offense. Right. We're going to talk about the defense for the Utes up on the hill when we come back. Of course, Utah defense has been one of the best under Kyle Whittingham for a long, long time. But last year, with a number of injuries and a subpar performance all season long, their invincibility took a hit. Jeremiah says the guys on defense are a little embarrassed by the way they struggled a year ago. Uh, we need to win. And not time to rebuild. We need to win right now. Now motion Marquise Lee across. Barkley to throw. He's going to throw a screen past the woods in the flat. He's going nowhere. The defense has a chip on their shoulder with something to prove. When you're picked to stink. That makes you think, you know, I'm going to show these guys that they had it wrong and that University of Utah, you know, we're, we're winners and that so you shouldn't bet against us. Kyle Whittingham and his coaches have been hard at work trying to improve the defensive deficiencies of 2012. Uh, we had two issues last year, red zone defense and the, our inability to take the football away. And that's that's something we've been very good at for a lot of years. And so we got to get those corrected. We've worked hard in the offseason to, to you know, address those issues. And, and we can't wait to get back on the field. The Utes lost six starters on defense, three on the defensive line, including All-American and first-round draft pick star Lotu Lele. Utes rush four. Here they come, off the edge. Tool steps up, and he's dragged down. Trevor Riley got him from behind. But with Trevor Riley, Nate Orchard, and Tenny Palapoy returning, the D-line will once again be the strength of the defense. Hey, man, the University of Utah is a defensive line university. We've put a lot of guys in the NFL. You know, we think we got uh, a chance to be one of the best defensive fronts in the conference, if not the best, with, you know, even with Star's departure. And uh, that's just where we've been. You know, the defensive line's been a strength of ours for a decade. You know, that's been a strong suit for us. The linebackers, we fully expect. I was raving about them last year. Didn't perform. You know, we had injuries. I don't think we started the same three consecutively, maybe twice in the whole season and so those guys are all a year older a year more mature a year smarter Brian Blacken will lead the linebacker position along with VJ Fajoko Eric Rowe will be paired with Michael Walker at safety Walker was a surprise standout in fall camp the most unproven position cornerback Keith McGill and Justin Thomas are currently atop the depth chart we're essentially starting over there. The uh, you know 95 percent of the snaps uh, we lost to graduation between Ryan Lacey and and Mo Lee and, and Reggie Tops. All those guys played all the snaps. So a lot of talent at that position. No experience, but uh, you know we feel that uh, you know with the progress they made in spring, if we can make that much progress again in fall camp, we'll be okay by the time the season starts. If linebacker play improves and some players step up at corner. The youths believe they have the potential to be one of the best defenses in the Pac-12. Like I said, we expect to win every game. I don't care if we're playing Alabama next or the first game of the season. We would, as a coaching staff and players, you have to expect to win. You have to have the faith that you're going to win the football game. So every week, if you have that faith, and if it come, if, there's no reason why you can't win. If you prepare hard enough, we have the athletes. Uh, hopefully, it works out for us. We're working towards that end. I think we've taken major steps in the last two years. Our last two recruiting classes feel very good about. Uh, still a young group of guys, you know, they're just freshmen and sophomores, but but uh, hopefully that's going to start to manifest. Hi, Mike and Robert, Castle.com's Crimson Corner back with us. All right, they lose star. Uh, what do they have on the D line? I mean, do they got guys that's going to step up? Tenny Palapoy, Rob. Tenny Palapoy is a name you have to remember. He's going to be in the middle. There's depth there. Nate Fakahafua Orchard is back. Also, Trevor Riley is a stud. You can't okay, say enough you're about saying Trevor all the right Riley. things that we hear the coaches say. Sure. All right. Are they going to be a better defensive line? Yes, they will be a better defensive line. You, the, the two ends in Nate Orchard and Trevor Riley will both be improved based off of what last year brought. And Tenny Palapoy and 
um, LT2, Pelotu, are, are good enough to anchor that defensive line. And I think that last year Utah relied upon Star to do everything. This year it's more of a team sport. Uh, and the, the wealth is going to be spread around, sort of. Speak. I think so it's a mindset, too. Trevor Riley played last year with a torn ACL yeah. the whole year. Yeah. How can you... I mean, he's just going to be better based off that. True. Injuries were devastating a year ago, but every team goes through injuries. I know Kyle's not using that excuse, but the linebacker court, Brian Blecken, last week and a half, Kyle's come out and said, hey, if he doesn't get out on the field, he has 10 to 9 to his knee, I think we may have to move on. Then he came out and had a pretty good uh, scrimmage right after he said that. Uh, is Brian, uh, Brian Blecken going to be a trouble child, or is he going to be a leader, step up, and be the guy that everybody needs him to be well he he well his number one concern is health if he is healthy he's going to be out there and he's going to be good this is his last chance senior year he started for four years this is his time to shine be that star for utah on the linebacking on the linebacking all things being equal no injuries everything but he's healthy how much better do you think this defense can be than a year ago. Oh, replacing three NFL corners is going to be a tough task to do, but if anybody can do it, Coach Whittingham has proven time and time again that it's not a rebuilding thing that they have to go through. It's more of a reloading. These guys are, are Pac-12 recruits and should be able to step in and play right away. Just, Mike, Justin Thomas. That's a, good, that's a name at cornerback, okay. too. Remember that. All right, Mike and uh, Robert Crimson Cormer every day on uh, KSL.com and the UCAS every week. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right, so four days and counting till the opener in Rice Eccles with the Aggies. Now, here's a sample of what we can expect from the Utes this season.